Well, look, we're, we're here now with uh, Lester Goodwin and Andrew Stevens, the uh, main British hopes for this event. So we're just going to see how they're feeling. Lester, how are you, how are you feeling after yesterday's practice session? Yeah, it wasn't too good yesterday. We had a little bit of a crash and a bit stiff from that. The track wasn't brilliant, you know, we couldn't really get a perfect setup for it because of the conditions of the track. But hopefully today the track's going to be a lot better and hopefully we get out there and give them a go like. Okay. So um, one of the biggest things that's going to help with this and the track being difficult is having somebody decent in the chair, which, uh, okay, you've got Andrew with you now. So uh, how do you feel, Andrew? Yes, mate, yeah, I feel really good, actually. Uh, feel confident um, and let's say hopefully things go well for us and uh, we can pull something out of it so I mean, looking at the uh, field here today you've got you know it's quite a wide variety um, how have you fared against most of these guys up until now this year you've met most of them yeah no, we've beat them all you know but it all depends on all one day you know you know yourself anything a little can happen it just puts you right out to meet him but you know they're all beatable everybody's beatable and we're just going to go out and I want to win it, but I really I just want to qualify and get through to the final and then really have a go there sort of thing. So the main thing really is getting through and that's the top six and uh, yeah. but, uh, I'm sure you've, you're looking for a rostering place at least though. Oh yeah, I'd love to win it, but you know, deep down all I want to do is qualify and if I get on the rostering it's a bonus. Yeah, well, you, last night you, you sort of had a little bit of a, a skid and, a, and a came off, somebody run into you, how, how are you feeling after that? Stiff. <laughs> no, nah, it shouldn't be too bad, you know, it's, it is stiff, but I went out after the crash and all that and it didn't seem to affect me, but, you know, it, nah, it'd be alright, when you're out there you don't yes, feel it, yeah, do you? Yeah. Any nerves so far today? Not yet. No? Good luck. Well look, good luck lads, I'm sure you're going to be the uh, the top ones out there and uh, you'll make the rest of them. Cheers mate. Cheers, Cheers very mate. much. It's number one, the European Sidecar semi-final, leg one, we've got Lester Goodwin and Andy Stevens. we've got Mark Detz and Gerald Easing. Number three, Xavier Alrin and David Shimonard. Number 10, Mike Reed and Mark Thorpe. Number 11, Albert Reisfeld and Eric Van Dyke. And number 12 is Yo-Yo Van Der Werf and Marcel Schippers. So, two British crews in this. Number one, Lester Goodwin, with Andy Stevens in the chair. Number 10, Mike Reed and Mark Thorpe. It's all about getting points to go through to that A final. Get in the A final, you're in the European final. So, Helmet colours shown in the programme, but six of them on the line. Who's it going to be? It's the way we go! And an even start. What as they go into the first turn? It's Lester Goodwin leading. So, Lester Goodwin and Andy Stevens lead as they come out of that first turn. The rest of them all very close, but it's Orin and Chaminade there in second place, the French crew. But as they come off the land, it is still Lester Goodwin. And Andy Stevens down in front, the French crew there in second place, in third place, it's Mike Reed and Mark Thorpe. Alden and Cheminard in second place, Thorpe in third place, as uh, Mike Reed and Mark Thorpe in third place as they go down the back straight for the second time. But it's Lester Goodwin, way, way out in front as they come off the paddock turn for the third time. Right, Goodwin leads. Second place is the French crew, Alden and Cheminard. In third place, Mike Reed and Mark Thorpe. That's the one, two, three, down the back straight with the last lap flag at the ready and Leicester absolutely dominating this one. 60, 70 metres up on the rest. The order then still the same. Goodwin leads. Alden in second place. Reed in third. Behind Reed is Mark Detz and behind Mark Detz. Albert Reisfeld. And Yo-Yo van der Werf getting tailed off a little bit at the moment. But as we look to our left, the first race is going to a British crew. Are we going to get a British crew second? Mike Reed trying to come around the outside, doesn't quite make it, but Lester wins it. Then to Alvin second, in third place Mike Reed, and in fourth place Mark Detz, followed by Albert from Aceville and Yo-Yo van der Werf. In race 10, leg 2, line up for race 10, is Sheard Hoekstra and Henk Huberma from Holland. Crew number 9, crew number 8, Jürgen Michel and Stefan Moore from Germany. Crew number one, Lester Goodwin and Andy Stevens from the UK. Crew number four, Alphonse Fugel and Franz Hoibeluba from Germany. Crew number 12, Yo-Yo van der Werf and Marcel Schippers from Holland. 
And last but not least, crew number five, Gerben Schumer and Hessel Viva from Holland. And as we go into the first turn, it looked like uh, Frugal, who led it, but down the back straight is absolutely three abreast. Lester Goodwin's there. And Lester has lost his passenger. So we've got an incident on the back straight. Andy Stevens has gone out the back and he's lying in the track. So the race is stopped. And I don't know whether Lester realises he's lost Andy or not, but uh, he does now. And Andy Stevens just lying in the track over on the far side. Let's hope um, that's not too serious because that was a nasty tumble. I mean, that, that really was flat out when, uh, when he went off. The right, well, we've got Lester and Andy on the line. And um, well, Andy, uh, hopefully, he's going to be OK for the rigours of the race. Um, looks to be OK. Somewhat dirtied the back of his Kevlar's, but um, other than that, keep our fingers crossed. Right, coming in alongside them, the other four crews. So we have right on the inside in the very distinctive green leathers, the Dutch crew, alongside them, Lester Goodwin, and away we go. The Dutch crew who lead as they go into the first turn and Lester Goodwin is back in third place at the moment but Lester on the outside but out in front in the green letters it is crew number nine but here comes Goodwin the Dutch lead Goodwin there battling away with um, I was going to say battling away with Alphonse Fugo and Goodwin spun it and uh, oh no they're out again so Lester and Andy just trying too hard to go past the uh, Alphonse Fugo on the top ten and they're out of it again but they're going to get going hopefully they'll get some points from Holland Gerben Schurman and Hessel Ovima and uh, finishing there in fifth place Lester Goodwin and Andy Stevens the official result of that one in just a moment Crew number 11, Albert Reisfeld and Eric van Dijk, the German driver and the Dutch passenger. Crew number 9, who have been going very, very well this afternoon so far. Crew number 9, Sheard Roekstra and Henko Wiemer from Holland. Number 3, from France, the only French crew here today, Xavier Auren and David Chimenard. Crew number 7, from the UK, Brian Palmer and Danny Hogg. And from the UK, Lester Goodwin and Andy Stevens. Well, they've had mixed fortunes this afternoon, but they're still there with the points, and uh, if they can maintain the the points, they probably will get to the um, to the A final, even though they had that disaster in the last race. But uh, go on, they've got uh, two rides to do, and um, it's all about getting points, getting into the into the semi-finals. Right, the lineup. 5, 11, 9, 3, 7 and 1. It'd be nice to have a UK 1-2 here, but um, number 9 in the bright green leathers, cheered Hoogstra and Henko Wiemer. Going very, very quickly this afternoon. Very distinctive, easy to pick up. Commentators dream when people wear bright green leathers. You can pick them up a mile away, even in the dust. So, outfits come into line. Looks a little bit cramped over on the inside. Lester Goodwin right on the outside gate in this one. And he's nearest to us. And uh, to get across that first turn, you've got to go right around the outside. It's a long, long way. Brian Palmer and uh, Danny Hogg there in the green gate. Next to Lester, but uh, Brian and Danny closing up on the inside, but Lester's chosen to take a very, very wide berth, as wide as he can. He's got it all to do to get from the outside gate across the rest of them. Race number 19, here we go! And the British crews come right round the outside, incredible stuff! We've got Brian Palmer leading, we've, we've got Lester Goodwin there in second place, they're one, two at the moment, in third place is Chad Wookstra, but the Brits lead, 1-2, Lester on the inside, Brian on the outside. And it is Lester on the end, and goes to the front. Second place now for Brian Palmer and Danny Hogg. And through into third place, 
The Dutch crew cheered Hoogstraar going back at the moment and he's certainly got a problem. Hoogstraar then right at the back of the pack as we look to our left and Leicester's out, it's smoky. But he's still there in the lead with Brian Palmer in second in third place. Behind them, crew number three, the, the French crew of Xavier Aurin and David Chiminard, but it's Leicester Goodwin and Andy Stevens who lead into the last lap. But in second place, Brian Palmer and Danny Hogg in third place still, Xavier Aurin. And uh, certainly the outfit of uh, Chiat Wooster and Enko Bima sounded very, very sick as he goes over the line to start his last lap. But we look to our left, this is what we wanted, a British one too. Yes, the good win. And Andy Stevens, Brian Palmer and Danny Hogg. Third place to number three, Xavier Aurin and David Sheminard. A win for number one, Leicester Goodwin and Andy Stevens. European sidecar semi-final. This is where you realise I can't speak German. We're looking for Thomas Kunert and Herman Backer. Brian Palmer and Danny Hogg. Alphonse... <laughs> should have waited, shouldn't I? Alphonse Flugel and Franz Hobelweber. Number 12, Yo-Yo van der Werf and Marcel Schippers. I'll wait for this one. Number one, Lester Goodwin and Andy Stevens. And number eight, Jürgen Michael and Stefan Muller. Well, that's the best I can do with these foreign names. I know Brian's absolutely fluent in 99 different European languages, and I'm not, but that's the best I can do. Watch me muddle them up as they go round the track. Those riders now then coming into line. Two races away from the interval. Be time to go and get yourself a burger. Could be time to get an ice cream, if there's an ice cream van. Could be time to take your programme and get your favourite rider to sign it. Or even your Union Jack, as Brian said earlier. You know, what one of them, what would one of them be worth in a few years' time, signed by each of the international riders here today? You think about it, then you invest a pound in that Union Jack, if you can get one. Race 28 is on the line, and away they go. It's a cracking good start there as they go down the first straight. Then Lester Goodwin is in second place as he goes around that turn. Down the back straight they go then. That looks like a number eight in front, although I think it should be a number six. I'll wait till it comes round. I can't read from that distance. Need some young eyes in here. Tell me who it is. And they come down the straight then. It is six. We can earn the lead from number one. Leicester Goodwin and Andy Stevens in second place. Piling up the points to be in that A final this afternoon. That's where they need to be. Points make prizes. And here they come. Out of that turn, it's Tommy Knurt and Herman Backer from uh, Leicester Goodwin and Andy Stevens. Then Ras Palmer and Danny Hogg alongside number eight. Jürgen Michael and Stefan Muller. As they come out of that turn, it's all hell for leather. Raz Palmer's holding on to that third place. Leicester Goodwin in second place. They're a Brits and two and three, and they want to stay there comfortably. Out in front is Tommy Knurt. I've forgotten how many times was your European champion. He's been already. But it doesn't look like anybody's going to touch him this year, does it? As he goes down that back straight. So much more power than all the other outfits, it's almost incredible. Here they come then, up to the chequered flag. It's going to be number six, Tommy Knurt, that wins it. Oh, that's the good win, Andy Stevens in second. Ras Palmer and Danny Hogg in third. The Brits are second and third. Then it's number eight, Jürgen Michael and Stefan Ruler. And I think number four, Alphonse Flugel and Franz Hubble-Hubber. Not that I can say that. But Jackie can, and she's standing next to me laughing. The qualifiers for the A final, race 34, from the UK. Number one, Lester Goodwin and Andy Stevens. Gone, there's still a chance of that. Tommy Cunard, Brian Palmer, Lester Goodwin and Mike Reed. Um, but I'm sure that number three, the French crew, Xavier Aurin and uh, David Chiminar. I'm sure they'll have some chiminade. I'm sure they'll have something to say about that. And uh, so will crew number nine, Sheard Wuxtra from Holland. But last race of the day, away we go. Oh, Incredible start there. Thomas Cunard 
absolutely the class of his own. 30 metres up as they go into the top 10. It's Cunard leaving the rest of them all pretty close together, but it's Cunard and back at ease. In second place, it's Lester Goodwin in third place. It is Brian Palmer in fourth place, it's Mike Reed and the British crews two, three and four at the moment. And the, the other two crews right at the back, but it's Tommy Cunard out in front for the bridge two, three and four. Lester second. Raz third and Mike in fourth place as they come off the bottom end for the second time. And Mike Reed coming under pressure from the French crew, Xavier Aaron and David Chiminard. But Mike Reed still just about holding that fourth spot. And come on, Mike. Back to the leader. It is the incredible German, Thomas Cunard with Herman Dacker in the chair. In second place still, Lester Goodwin and Andy Stevens. Ross Palmer and Danny Hogg and Mike Reed. Come on, Mike. Mike Reed at the moment just struggling a little bit, gets past. They go down the back straight for the last time, and it looks as though Mike Reed is going to finish perhaps in fifth place. But we look to our left, the winner of the final. Big Reed! Here he goes. Thomas Cunard and Herman Macker. As I said earlier, that guy, I think he's the only man in the world that can do that. Absolutely incredible. So. Cunard and Backer, they win it. Dare we see as expected. In second place, Lester Goodwin and Andy Stevens. Following them, Raz Palmer. And behind Raz Palmer was Xavier Alden. Stephen, Lady Stephen, 
Simon Breed and Stuart Suffolk second, Barry Bennett, Steve Fennell got the third. It's Gary Ball and Debbie Bird in fourth place as they go up that back row once again. It's left to the rest of the field. They're winning the game. It's hard to win. It's hard to win. As they put number three, then Lester Goodwin and Andy Stevens lead it then. Can put in two from Simon Breed and Stuart Suffolk second. Barry Bennett, Steve Fennell in third. It's Gary Ball and Debbie Bird in fourth. Getting a little bit spread out now in race number 18. The third race. Simon Beard and Stuart Supple get the second and Barry Bennett and Steve Tong in third, Gary Ball and Debbie Bird in fourth place. On the line then, Foley sidecar first and in final and there's a little bit left to go with many dreadful sides. The third route again, as Wayne Reed leads in, Mike Reed goes in, going in that bottom corner, Clyde Willis trying to get from the inside, left to go with many dreadful mistakes, he's back in fourth place, he's done, 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 He's up the back straight once again and still re leads it then. Then Goodwin in second place. He's just going to be able to get the ball. So I think I can be pretty well assured that once again Lester Goodwin has made it six on the track for the 500 sidecar championship. We'll obviously have to wait for the points to confirm the other scorers in their um, various positions. But at the moment Lester Goodwin is assured of the win. I think it may well be that second that third place is enough to get Brian Palmer and Danny Hart second place yet again. But we're not exactly sure on the film. I'm sure the six outfits will come round. Lester Goodwin 
Andy Stevens there, the 500 sidecar champion, yet again for the sixth time. So Leicester Goodwin and Andy Stevens, the 500 sidecar champion yet again for the year 2003. Tony Stark and Darren Wood, good to see them in one piece after that horrific crash. Tapes fly, and here they come. Powering down the first straight. I think it was number five that went to the first turn first. I was so busy looking for Lester Goodwin, who's down there in third place at the moment, that uh, didn't really see what was going on in front of me. Number one, Clive Willis is in second place. It's number five that leads. It's Wayne Yeldham and Kevin Ashley from Clive Willis and Richard Webb. They're in opposing teams. Lester Goodwin's coming on with strong on the inside. Trying to uh, do the business there, but those two outfits are blocking the way. Anybody think they were on the same side, weren't they? But Lester Goodwin gets up to third. Clive Willis drops back to fourth. Clive Willis comes back to third. Number five stays out in front. That's Wayne Yeldham and Kevin Ashley. Lester Goodwin comes through on the inside now. And side by side as they go past here. As, uh, Kevin Ashley didn't want to let him through, but uh, Lester Goodwin forced his way through on the entrance to that turn there. Nice clean manoeuvre as Lester Goodwin goes for it. From Wayne Yeldham in second place. They're climbing all over the back wheel of Wayne Yeldham at the moment. Clive Willis comes through into third. Exciting stuff here at Good Easter. Watching that Simon Beard, he looks very fast into that turn. The checkered flags out. Lester Goodwin's by breaks down. Lester Goodwin packs up on the exit of that last turn. He's gone down to fourth place. The win goes to Wayne Yeldham. I don't know what happened to Leicester's machine there, the chain's still on, the tyres are pumped up, so uh, there's a problem for the mechanics, official result in a moment. No other finishes, the winner's time at 1 minute 21, seconds precisely, giving a speed of 49.4 miles per hour, that's 139, 3, 37, 76, 213, 212 and 43, 1 minute 21, 49.4, 500 cc sidecars, Lester Goodwin and Raz Palmer, yet again, having another of their titanic battles. Five times British champion, Lester Goodwin leads a one-time champion, Raz Palmer. And they're at it, Hammer and Tom again, just like they have been right through their racing careers. But Raz's career is in, uh, terminated at the end of this season. This is the last time we'll see him on Essex soil and he's chasing Lester Goodwin all the way. Around they come then, number three, Lester Goodwin and Andy Stevens from Danny, uh, Raz Palmer and Danny Hogg. And we've got another man now, number 216, Chris Knight and Mark Randall's decided to uh, join in the competition. Here they come then, number three. Lester Goodwin and Andy Stevens at the last lap flag with Raz Palmer and Danny Hogg trying everything they know to try and come on song. They're right there, they're pushing the right lines, they're doing everything correctly, but can they move Lester Goodwin off that inside line? Into the last turn they come then. Lester Goodwin's gone a bit wide on his own account, and Raz Palmer comes through, what's gonna happen here? It's gonna be tight, oh, that's tight, tight, tight. Gentlemen, I'm gonna leave that decision to you. That was tight. 
And in the 500cc sidecar class, they know that they've got to have three good rides because there is no B consolation final for the 500 sidecars. It's the top six point scorers that go into the big final at the end of the day. And looking at the lineup for the first race of the day, number three, Lester Goodwin on the line. Number five, Wayne Yeldman and Kevin Ashley. Key for number one, Clive Willis, right on the inside, passenger by Richard Webb. And number two is Mel Goodwin and Gary Rockle. Number five, I mentioned, and number 23, Tony Stark and Pete Bell. So the tapes are up for the first time this afternoon. Mel Goodwin on the inside, Clive Willis has gone with him as well as those two go into that first turn. Lester Goodwin on the outside of Clive Willis as they sit at the moment, but he's lost a place as that looks like Tony Stark coming through on the inside. So, Tony Stark and Pete Bell moving through in the second spot, going after the early leader, and Mel Goodwin as they come off that pit bend for the first time. Now it is outfit number two, Mel Goodwin and Gary Rockle that lead in the top corner as they start the second lap. And this is the first race of the afternoon. All five of these now have staying close together. Lester Goodwin looking to try and get that second place back and moves through beautifully into that second spot. He's now got uh, Brother Mel to go after as they come up past me for the second time. Well, Lester Goodwin certainly was quick into this top bend. You can see that Tony Stark doesn't want to let him get away from him and Tony comes back underneath him again. So that top bend, proving to have two or three different racing lines around it, chopping and changing every time as they go into that bend. Not quite the same on this pit bend. Lester Goodwin follows Tony Stark round. Mel Goodwin, I think, is unaware of what's going on behind him, but now he'll be aware because Tony Stark has let him know that he's there. He's got much closer to him in that top bend. And Tony Stark has taken over as well as they go down the back straight. A much better ride from Tony Stark. Lester Goodwin has seen what's happened as well. He started to close up on Mel. It'll be the checkered flag for them this time. It's going to be close on the line, but I would say Tony Sharp put it. Mel Goodwin on the inside, and Lester Goodwin on the outside. Well, I think the strongest competition from Oak Road is possibly going to come from Lester Goodwin and Tony Martin. They're right on this outside gate. Nobody on the inside of them, so they've got plenty of Lester Goodwin is right there with him. Lester looks all the way around the outside, but Mike Reed's got the better line coming out of the bend and pulls away going down the back straight. So Mike Reed and Gareth Bemister it is the lead from Lester Goodwin and Tony Martin. That's how they sit at the moment. Setting into that third place is battle going on for that one, but I was interested to see whether Lester Goodwin was going to be able to stay with Mike Reed. Mike's saying no, he pulls away as he goes down the back straight. Can he make it two out of two? Lester Goodwin wants to try and do something about it. Looks for a way around the outside. Cuts back in to get a fast line down this straight. start to open. I can see that Wayne Yeldman has tried to hold a very tight line. Lester Goodwin looking to go a little bit wider to see if he can get a bit more speed on. And he changes his mind. He locks it up in the middle of the bend and tries to get some time. And this finishing straight. Follows Mike going to that top turn. But Mike does look to have a very, very controlled line. And he's very quick round this top bend. And Lester Goodwin has lost out again by trying to follow him. He's not been able to master that line as well as Mike Reed. He's having to drive harder and faster, wider. And the checker play goes. Mike Reed made it two and a two. Lester hangs on to the second place. So, number 72. Uh, that is uh, Sean Harvey and Danny Hogg. They're saying they're in grid five. They're absolutely right. Wayne Yeldman should be in uh, grid six. Doing a 
same thing as well, all sorts of problems on that first turn. I was telling you Stark in problems on that first turn, but he's recovered from that, so he's one of the top point scorers, looking to see whether he can get back again. And at the moment, Mike Reed and Lester Goodwin are in the front of the And Tony Robertson just with the lead from Mike Reed. And passenger Gareth Bemister. Bit of a gap opening up between those two and third place, and Simon Baird trying to get that third place. As they move into that bottom turn, and I think I say it's Simon Baird that Action as well. He's sitting in fifth place at the moment. Can he close any ground? This could be important in terms of qualification for that A final. Oh, Lester Goodwin, if he gets a seven point to move on the 16 points, that'll get him through the final. My friend, I think you've done enough on the second place five points. That'll take him on to 19, the same as Wayne. So that will also, those two we know are guaranteed to get into the final. It then starts getting a bit tighter because when we look at Tony Stark moving through, he's in fourth place at the moment, going for third, he's going to be tight for the line, he doesn't quite make that third. When you open gets that third place and a very important four points, we move to race 30 in your program. The lineup includes number 56, Wayne Reed and Clive Preston. Number 57, Mike Reed and Garrett Bannister. Number 3, Lester Goodwin and Tony Martin. Number 23, Tony Stark. And if I can remember who Tony was, <laughs> Tony Stark and Peter Bell. And number 2, Mal Goodwin and Gary Rockall. Number 5, and... I think it goes without saying that the competition is going to be tight this afternoon, but Leicester, has this 750cc made any difference to you at all? 
Um, yeah, I'm struggling with them actually. Yeah, <laughs> when I go abroad, I can't quite get the set up for the uh, 750s. We're not actually using the 750, it's a 580, 560. And uh, I'm struggling with the setup at the moment. I can't quite keep an engine together at the moment. So today I'm going to be using my 500, which I hopefully going to use next week at Stance Canal, which is my semi final. Yeah, and it's going to be quite a big season for you, British guys, isn't it? Because we've got the final over here this year, haven't we? Yeah, it's good to have it over here, actually. You know, the Germans don't like racing over here, so it <laughs> might be to our advantage. So, you know, hopefully we, we've got to get there first. So, hopefully next week we can uh, put a good show on and get through the semi like it's an hard semi so but we'll be there trying it so hopefully it's all about getting reliability this afternoon in preparation for next week that's right yeah i'm using today for a setup for next week i'm not bothered about winning it or we'd, we'd like to win it but i'm just trying to get a good setup for next week and hopefully go there with 110 percent next week well fabulous you know you'll all be thinking of you next weekend so the very best of luck mate thank you very much and the two riders that we don't see this time are tony stark and wayne reed I joined on the line uh, the uh, other four riders that have been out before. Clive Willis, Lester Goodwin, Wayne Yeldman and Mel Goodwin. Even Mal in fact had a win first time out. They're joined by Mike Reed, number 57 and Mark Thorpe. 69 is Steve Kensington and James Benfield. On the inside has got himself to the front, has he? He works his way through, he's just got to the front. Lester Goodwin is right there with him. Those two together as they go down the back straight. I think that's Clive Willis that's made the best of it on the inside of Lester Goodwin. It looks to be a bit of a battle developing there. It is Clive Willis on the inside. Number five, Wayne Yeldman and Kevin Ashley in fourth place. And I think there's a bit of a battle for that second place and that's allowing Mel Goodwin to get away again. He's already had one win this afternoon in the very first race of the day. Steve Kensington trying to make sure he doesn't lose any ground at all on fourth place, Wayne Yelvin. And I did mention to you earlier about the way they're paying the prize money this afternoon. It is on point score during the afternoon, so any place is worth getting. Goodwin at the moment, very much in control. Is he going to make it two out of two as he goes down that back straight? And, uh, The lineup for the final, number seven, Mel Goodwin and Anthony Goodwin. Maximum points to get them into this final. And I'm interested to see that uh, Mel Goodwin has uh, Well, he's actually taken, uh, I don't described as a very middle gate. He's in gate four, as you count from the inside. He was maximum point scorer, as I say, coming into the final. He's joined by number one, Clive Willis and Richard Webb. Number 56, Wayne Reed and Clive Preston. Number three, Lester Goodwin and Tony Martin. 69, Steve Kensington and James Benfield and 57, Mike Reed and Mark Thorpe. Oh, they get away. Lester Goodwin's made a good start. Malcolm Goodwin's made a good start as well. And as they break going into the first turn, Malcolm Goodwin has got to go around the outside. It's Clive Willis that's got the lead, but Malcolm Goodwin takes over the lead from him as he goes down the back straight. Malcolm Goodwin, it is, that's got to the front. There's a gaggle of riders behind him. Four outfits together coming off that pit turn. But it is Malcolm Goodwin that's got away, and Malcolm Goodwin leading from his second place, Clive Willis. I can see Wayne Reed moving through there as well. So Wayne Reed is in third place at the moment, Clive Willis in second still. Lester Goodwin trying to get in on the action as well as they go up that back straight. 
but it is Malcolm Goodwin and Anthony Goodwin that lead coming off that pit bend. They fly past me, they're not aware of what's going on behind them. There's a lot of good scrapping going on as Lester Goodwin's trying to fight to get on terms. As he's in fourth place at the moment, but you could throw a blanket over those five outfits. Lester Goodwin gets round the outside, goes after Clive Willis, has he nosed in front as he goes into the pit bend. Clive Willis will now know that he's there, he's gone very, very wide, Lester Goodwin. Oh, there really is a great strap going on for this second place. Clive Willis is hanging on to it. Steve Kensington's come through now. Steve Kensington looking for a way through. And Lester Goodwin has got to try and get round Steve as well now. As they're in fourth place. And there's all sorts of problems on the far side. We've lost an outfit. As we see the chequered flag being prepared. They go into the pit bend. It's Malcolm Goodwin that comes to the chequered flag. And Malcolm Goodwin gets it. Oh, it was close for second place. I can think that there was possibly only Clive Willis. Right, we're joined by the crew that need no introduction. Lester Goodwin and Scott Dunn, of course. Lester, first of all, a lot of British hopes with you today. First time in England. We have never had a British driver on the podium. What's the chances? Yeah, it's good as a chance as anybody else, you know. Um, I'd love to be on the podium, so that's what we're here for, but just to come third I'm here to win it you know so we're up for it and we had a good training session yesterday so everything should go well today we're, we're in with a chance. Yeah people are talking very much about uh, Tommy Coonert and William Matthias and do you see them as your main rivals? Yeah obviously they're the top boys at the moment but everybody on merit they're here so you know you've got to respect everybody the same so you just <laughs> take no notice of them and get on with your own job. Just been talking to William, he said he found the track very hard, which is obviously different to what he's used to racing on. Um, I would imagine that gives you a little bit of advantage, racing on a British track. Yeah, it always gives you a bit of advantage to race in England, but yeah, the track is always hard here, so, and, I, and I know that anyway from past experience. And Yeah, William doesn't like the hard tracks because he, he struggles a bit with spinning and everything, but I think it's the same for everybody, so we've just got to get on with it and do the best we can. Scott, standing in today with Leicester, a lot of experience of course, passenger with Raz about 11 years ago when he won the championship. First final, is this your first final in Europe? No, this is uh, it's about my fourth or fifth final. Um, obviously I've done some previously with Raz, uh, Dave Howes was another one that I rode with. Thank you please, um, take your time five minutes well. start warming your engines up. Take yeah, your time five minutes and start warming your engines yeah, up. It's, Thank you. it's a big meeting all the same. So. Right, well obviously you know, we, all, we all want to see you on the rostrum, preferably on the top rung. Any machine problems Les? No, no, everything went well yesterday, we had, like I say, we had a good training session and we just hope we can carry that through to today and, like you say, get on that rostrum. Right, well we hope to see you at the end of the day on the rostrum, so obviously best of luck from me and best of luck from all the British fans here. Thank, Thank you very much. Right, Lester Cheers. Goodwin, Scott Dunn. So, run down the list for race one, European sidecar final, leg one. We have Philip Warringer and Gerd Medendorp from Holland. Number two, Lester Goodwin and Scott Dunn representing the UK. Three minute warning all riders. Number three, Tommy Kuhnert, the European champion and Bernard Kreutzer from Germany. Number 10, Sheard Hoekstra and Enko Wiemer from Holland. Crew number 11, William and Natalie Matthiasen from Holland and number 12 Benjamin Wurstler and Thomas Schoenemann again from Holland so a tough first race for the British crew Lester Goodwin and Scott Dunn it'll be interesting to see what happens off the start because as one or two of the lads have said to me this morning if the dust picks up it is absolutely critical to get into that first turn first so one of, one of the outfits just dodging the takes the race will be started by the referee upstairs. Everybody on the line. Here we go. European final. The time to call. Away we go. And number 12 there goes across the pack and went into the first turn with everybody except Tommy Kuhnert all in a bunch. But it's Tommy Kuhnert out in front already 30 metres up on the second place crew. Kuhnert then leads off the bend. It is one of two three times and it's Kuhnert from Matthiasen. In third place it is Sheard Hoekstra and Lester Goodwin in the pack, but Tommy Coonart incredibly quickly, as usual, 
goes to the front, 30 meters up on the tyre, sir. Half distance. William the Tyson, unbeaten in Europe this year. William the Tyson and Natalie the Tyson look as though they're going to get beaten for the first time, but they're catching Cunard. Cunard still leads as they go down the back straight, the last lap for Egg Pipaired, and it's Tommy Cunard, but here comes the Tyson incredibly quickly into the bottom turn into the Tyson, but they go a little bit wide and up the inside, and then comes Shane Hoekstra. Leicester Grimley back there in fourth place at the moment. In fifth place, Philip Wallenga. But Hoekstra catching the Tyson down the back straight. But it looks as though the first race is going to go to Tommy Kunart and Bernard Kreutzer from Germany, the Dutch crew. William Matthiasen and Natalie the Tyson. Second and third place, Hugh Hoekstra and Enko Zima. And in fourth place, Leicester Goodwin and Scott Dan, followed by Philip Wallenga. And last but not least, Benjamin Wurzler. So the big boys really in this one. I've looked through the programme and I see Lester Goodwin meets Tommy Cooner three times, but Tommy Cooner meets William Matthiasen four times throughout the programme. So we look to our left for the last two outfits to come off. We've got Mark Getz and Gerald Easting, number seven. And finally we have number three, the one and only Tommy Cooner and Bernhard Kreuzer. So, Race 12, keep our fingers crossed. Cheered Hoekstra and Enko Vima, just uh, in the distinctive green letters, just making their way to the line as we get on the way, hopefully first time, with race 12. Here we go, we're looking for Puna, we're looking for Matthiasen, but into the first end, it's very close, and Lester Goodwin a superb start. And it's Lester Goodwin in leads as they go down the back straight, and, and it's Goodwin. But here comes Cunard and the rest of them at Leicester Goodwin. Out in front, but we got a big pile up on the first turn. So, once again, the race is stopped. And I think the crew that went over were Barry Bennett and Steve Tong. We've got number two there, Leicester Goodwin on the inside. Number three, Tommy Cunard. Number seven, Mark Jets. Eleven, William Matthiasen. And cheers, Hookstar right on the outside, crew number 10. Oh, he's right, it's coming to the line then, and uh, Brian Curran coming through to take over. There they go, from the uh, star line, down to the first turn. All sorting themselves out as they come round that corner, it's number two in front, here's Brian. Right, thank you Martin, right, Lester Goodwin, and uh, it's getting very close up front there. Very, very close, Tommy Curran there. Right. And Cunard and Goodwin and it's Cunard who goes to the front so Tommy and Matthiasen coming back on the end outside so Matthiasen and Cunard absolutely side by side in the bottom turn Matthiasen and Cunard Goodwin then in third place superb action off the day and Matthiasen goes to the front Cunard in second place now Lester Goodwin in third and behind them the others, but we're all concerned with this tremendous clash up front with Matthiasen and Tommy Kerner. They give us each other just as much as two. We go into the last spot, and Matthiasen leads Kerner second. Third place there, Lester Goodwin. And in fourth place, it was Hoekstra. But is this going to be a win for number 11, William and Natalie Matthiasen? Cunard beat the first up and here comes Cunard on the inside! It's close, it's close, but Matthiasen gets it! Wow, what a fantastic race! Matthiasen, William and Natalie Matthiasen. Much to the delight of the Dutch supporters on my right, they win it! In second place, the European champion, Tommy Cunard and Bernard Kreutzer. And in third place, our own Lester Goodwin and Scott Dunn. So, got four riders, D finals. Who's going to win it? <laughs> well, Tony Stark and Peter Bell get the wheel in the air as they go off the line. And all sorts of funny things happening on the first turn. Number 12 there, Benjamin Wurzler going in and taking the most odd line, but uh, he's there in third place at the moment. Tony Stark currently at the back of the field, but uh, they're going to the bottom turn.
Now Wayne Reed and Clive Preston, they lead the B final. Goodwin there in second. In third place, it's Wurzler. And in fourth place, it's Tony Shark. So the Dutch crew now, Benjamin Wurzler, coming up into second place. Still holding the lead. Wayne Reed and, and Clive Preston then came to this meeting as reserve and they lead the B final. In second place, it's Benjamin Wurzler. Then in third place, it's uh, Lester Goodwin and Scott down the back of the field and all the coaches. It's one lap to go, the order still the same and uh, Tony Stark looking very dejected there, riding around slowly at the back of the field. Lester Goodwin perhaps likewise, but um, both had a disappointing day, but Wayne Reed is coming in as reserve and is he going to win the B final? It's all close to this coming on the chair. Very close, but Wayne Reed gets it with Clive Preston in the chair. In second place, it's Benjamin Wurzler. In third place, Lester Goodwin and Scott Dunn. And in fourth place, it is going to be Tony Stark and Peter Bell. In the piss, we've ran in 500cc sidecar champion, Lester Goodwin and Scott Dunn. Lester, you've been out for practice. Think you can make it seven in a row today? Yeah, we're up for it, mate. Yeah, we're going to have a go. Track's good, actually. I know it's in a small track, but yeah, it's good. It's, it's hard. The whole field's hard, but yeah, it's going to be good. Scott, I understand you've won one championship with Lester already, but that was a long time ago. Confident no. about today? Uh, I'm confident today, yeah. I won my previous title with uh, Raz Palmer in uh, 93, I think it was. So, uh, going back a while now. Good, so we're going to hope to see you boys on the podium again today. Yeah, we're up for it, we're going to have a go. So the 500cc sidecars come to the line to do battle. They're settling in, the starters are not yet happy. Somebody's tipped it over on the start, but uh, five other Elfists scorch into the first turn together. I think that's 33. No, can't be. We didn't have a 33 in this race. I can't feel that it is. Uh, not made it. Round they come, then a process of elimination as these kind cars come round. Look at them getting close together coming around this turn. 72 leads it. Sean Harvey and Danny Hogg from Barry Bennett in second place and Lester Goodwin. The defending champion is down there in third at the moment. Not opening his account quite as well perhaps as he might like to, but there's a few laps to go in this race yet. Barry Bennett crosses up in front of Lester Goodwin and Lester Goodwin makes up a few yards. Sean Harvey and Danny Hogg though, they're right on the front line and going for it. And I bet Raz Palmer is really excited in the pits. Round they come then. Sean Harvey, Danny Hogg lead, Barry Bennett again gets into trouble. Lester Goodwin sitting at a safe distance. Down the straight they come. 72 then, on the last lap flag. Sean Harvey and Danny Hogg from Barry Bennett in second place and look at Lester Goodwin getting in there and number four, Simon Beard is to a supple and trying the outside line around the pair of them. Sorry, number four was at the back, so... Uh, perhaps that was number one. Round they come then, the, the checkered flag is out this time and it's a win for Sean Harvey and Danny Hogg. Second place to Barry Bennett and Steve Tong, then Lester Goodwin and Scott Dunn and then it is number one, Clive Willis. And Richard Webb, and bringing up the rear is four, Simon Beard and Stuart Supple. These are the 500cc sidecars, the international class of sidecar, doing battle for their British titles this afternoon. This is the thing that gets them recognition in Europe, where you finish in the British Championship. It's how you're rated in England, and how they rate your chances of riding in Europe. Very important for the 500cc sidecars to do well here this afternoon. Race change this one, number won't be route 15. Dave Higgins, it'll be 11. Keith Drury and Reinhard Schubert. They will be going in this one. Place of race, uh, place of rider 15. It's 11. Keith Drury and Reinhard Schubert, who uh, got credited for the second place in their first ride. Can't actually see, the oh yes I can, there they are. Third one in from the right. Right by the starter there. So he's probably getting into gear, I think. Trouble with the gearbox. 
on the line. Understarters, orders, everyone's happy. Here they come. Nice things and break as they come down the straight here. Number one, Clive Willis goes into the first turn alongside Lester Goodwin. Lester Goodwin holds the throttle on that little bit longer and forces himself into the lead. So it's Lester Goodwin that leads Clive Willis in second place. Then I think that was Mike Reed in third. Keith Rory in fourth. Wayne Reed in fifth. Now Wayne Reed had a win first time out and is down in fifth place at the moment, challenging hard with Keith Rory. 69 bringing up the rear there is Scott Francis and Paul Fisher. Well, a big battle on the front line as well. Oh, whoa, bang, and they crash and they bang and they come round the corner and they've sorted themselves out. We've got three Lester Goodwin on the front line. We've got Mike Reed in second, Wayne Reed in third, Wayne Reed goes through into second. Wayne Reed now chases after Lester Goodwin. Clive Willis goes down to fourth after all those bumps and shunts. And, uh, oh, it's all tight stuff in that corner again as they all been hooked up together, but here they come. It's Lester Goodwin onto the last lap from uh, Wayne Reed, from Mike Reed, from Clive Willis, from Scott Francis. The Keith Drury right at the back there, not looking very happy at all. Round they come then. A little more spread out this time. The checkered flag is out. It's close stuff. Lester Goodwin takes it. Wayne Reed in second. Mike Reed in third. Then Clive Willis. Scott Francis. And Keith Drury. They go then down the first straight, race 29, look for Lester Goodwin in this one. Mike Reed gets down to the first turn first. Scott Francis, it was that went with him. Scott Francis goes through into the lead. Lester Goodwin comes up into second. Lester Goodwin chases after Scott Francis. He goes down the back straight and into that pitch turn. They are side by side and there's no love lost here and around the turn. They come into the Mike Reed coming up on the inside. It's all fast stuff as they go past the line there. That would have been a photo finish for sure. Round they come then. Bowering down that back straight, Mike Reed's got the best of it, Barry Benny's got a second over goes, I think that was Lester. I think that's Lester that's tipped up on the far side. Red flags, obviously the race being stopped, it wasn't Lester, Lester's there in second place. Scott Francis is the one that's missing. Scott Francis is the one that's out on the far side. Tickets subsidised for this year only at £19.50. Here we go, race 29, it's the 500cc solo sidecars, 500cc sidecars, it's the British Championship and Lester Goodwin goes into the lead, Lester Goodwin picks it up this time, Mike Reed is in there in third place, Chris Salisbury is in second, Barry Benny goes down into fourth, Keith Richards in fifth, it's hot stuff coming around that turn. Lester Goodwin's got the bit between his teeth and he's going for it, he is the defending champion, he has six British titles to his credit, can he get seven this afternoon? Mike Reed is in second place. Chris Salisbury in third, Barry Bennett in fourth. And Keith Richards in fifth. Round they come then at half distance. We have Lester Goodwin. And Scott Dunn. Ahead of Mike Reed. And Mark Four. Then Chris Salisbury and Gary Hughes, Barry Bennett and Steve Ashby, Keith Richards and Terry Greenwood. Lester Goodwin leads it then. Down the back straight he goes. Into the pitch turn for the last time. Well clear of the rest of the opposition. This is what the British champion is made of. He's going for seven this afternoon, remember, and that is a win for number three, Lester Goodwin and Scott Dunn. From Mike Reed, Mark Thorpe, Chris Salisbury and Gary Hughes. Well, uh, just read a text message from Claire and, uh, and, and company over there with Matt Reed in Bordeaux, and uh, nothing I can say, but they're absolutely over the moon. 
absolutely over the moon. But, uh, such great things going on for Matt here. And it's always nice to know you're uh, being thought of and appreciated. I think we've shown that here this afternoon. 425 pounds. Keith Cornell brought the Grand Slam trophy. Riders not ready on the line. It's like Keith Drury. Problems with his gearbox again. They had trouble getting into gear earlier, but he took settled this time. The start is happy, and the second semi-final is about to go. Here they come, down the first straight. Another cracking start. Number three, Lester Goodwin breaks from the back and gets out of the first turn first. The man with six British champion wins to his credit all in a row, I can tell you. He's done a double hat trick already. Can he hold on to this one today? This is the semi-final, and who's that? Giving him a hard time round that turn. Nick Radley is after him. Keith uh, Drew is after the pair. Look at Nick Radley going through on the inside. He pushes him out. He goes through. Closes the door on Lester Goodwin. Nick Radley, the man who came in as reserve this afternoon, is now leading the semi-final. Nick Radley and Tony George lead this one. Out of the turn they come. It's Nick Radley and Tony George from Lester Goodwin. And Scott Dunn. Keith Drury in third place, the man from Seven Oaks with the German passenger. Reinhard Schubert, they're in third place at the moment. They come round to the last lap flag, we've got two. Nick Radley and Tony George pulling away from Lester Goodwin. And Scott Dunn. Keith Drury and uh, Reinhard Schubert are sitting there in third place. Then it's Mike Reed, and then it looks like it's Wayne Reed. Who would have thought the Reeds would have been that far down in this? There goes the checker flapping the wind for Bradley. Tony George. Rank outsider came in only as a reserve and he's picked up a win in the semi-final. He's coming good just at the right time. Also going in this side car final, number two. Came in as reserves this afternoon. They've made it right away to the final. Their third best scorer on the comeback trial, Nick Radley and Tony George. Now a fourth time in the industry with Steve Ashby and down the first straight they go into the first turn and 72, Sean Harvey has made it to the front, Lester Goodwin is in fifth place at the moment, looks like Barry Bennett goes after him, Barry Bennett is in fourth place, Lester Goodwin is fifth place at the moment, looks like Barry Bennett goes after him down that back straight, Simon Beard is in third, Lewis Senna, uh, <laughs> Lester Goodwin, and two Lester Goodwin and a Lester uh, Senna isn't there, anyway, 72, out in front, Raz Palmer must be starting to grin at last. 72 then. Sean Harvey and Danny Hogg leading out of that turn. Just two more laps to go for a British Championship victory. And number two, Nick Radley shutting the door on Mike Reed as he at uh, Wayne Reed, sorry, as they go into that turn. And it's Simon Beard and then Lester Goodwin is right down there in fifth place at the moment. It doesn't look like he's got any answer to it. Out of the turn they come, the last lap flag is inside. It's 72, Sean Harvey and Danny Holt. One lap from being British champions, surely. Out of that turn they go and down the back straight. Leading this one by a fair old distance. Nick Radley holding on to second. Mike Reed means to take that second place from her. They come out of the last turn. There's the checkered flag and 72. Sean Harvey and Danny Holt take the win. Wayne Reed comes through for second. Nick Radley in third. What a cracking race. And that's the last one this afternoon. 500cc. Single cylinder engines of about 60 brake horsepower running on methanol. Damn thing's got no brakes either. Here they come, and up goes the Sean Harvey on that start line. Lester Goodwin takes the most of that, and he gets out in front. Sean Harvey's got it all to do. He's got to get past Keith Richards before he can even catch up with Lester Goodwin, and Lester is on his way. Lester did have a poor year last year by his standards, but he's going for it now. The six times British champion, Lester and Anthony Goodwin lead. Sean Harvey is up in the second place. Danny Hogg working hard in that chair. Can they catch Lester Goodwin? Keith Richards in third. Wayne Yeldham in fourth. Who's that shirt they're off out there? This is a good win leading then. Down the back straight he goes. Sean Harvey's gaining on him. Into the corner he comes and he's really after it. 
Remember, the last lap, flag is out. Lester Good wins one lap from Big Three, but Sean Harvey's right there. Sean Harvey throws that bike at him into that corner, and he builds up speed as he goes around the outside. Can Lester hold on to it? Neck and neck and a half lap to go. Lester Goodwin holding on to a slender advantage there. He's forcing Sean to go to the wide round, and Sean cuts back to the inside. At the finish line is Lester and Anthony Goodwin from Sean Harvey and Danny Hall. Keith Richards, Romy home in third. Wayne Yeldon bringing it in fourth. Well, what a cracking race that Well, the man with one win, one ride and one win under his belt so far, coming to the line there. First one to the line this time. Lester Goodwin and his nephew, Anthony Goodwin. And we've got Nick Radley and Craig Matheson next to him. Starter says, let's get on with it. They go the same spill on with it. Up went uh, Nick Radley. Turn the sports right round the outside with little men in red. Oh, a bit of a coming together around that turn, but they lock in battle, and Nick Radley gets the better of it. Nick Radley going down the back straight. Sean Chick was the man that he collided with on that corner. And round through comes Lester Goodwin. Lester Goodwin's through on the inside. He's up to second place. The six times British champion chases Nick Radley. Nick Radley said this one's for mum, and he means it. Nick Radley down that back straight then, into that pits turn. Lester Goodwin chasing hard. Lester Goodwin holding a tighter line around that turn, but it's not a faster one, so... Uh, Nick Radley holds on to the lead. It's Nick Radley and Craig Matheson just from the Goodwins. From Sean Chick and Sarah Morton and Wayne Yeldon and Andy Sweeting bringing up the rear in fourth. There goes the last lap flag. It's 21 Nick Radley from Lester Goodwin. Lester Goodwin all over his back wheel on that corner. They've got just half a lap left in which to do it. Into the last turn then for the last time. It's number 21 Nick Radley. And look at Lester Goodwin sneaking up on the inside. It's going to be tight on that line. And who's got that then? Well, I've got as close a look as anybody, and I can't tell you. I'll leave it to the experts. Third place, Sean Chick. Ah, Sean Chick is not in this one. This, this, there is a, there is a, an alteration here. Sean Chick has been moved from race 38 to 39 to try and level the number of outfits in each race. So we won't get Sean Chick, so perhaps it won't be any easier in the other one. Revs rise then. Take the line, away they go. Bradley started on the inside, he's in second place behind Tony Cook at the moment, Paul Moorcock going around the outside and Lester Goodwin's been left last. How often do you see that? Lester Goodwin is up into third. Lester Goodwin is chasing hard, Paul Moorcock's taking the long way around the outside. Lester Goodwin needs to pay away past Tony Cook if he's to get up to the front of this and he's found it. He's got just, oh, well, has he? Yes he has, he's just got clear now of Tony Cook as he puts the challenge down. And chases after Nick Bradley, but Nick Bradley's got a good cause to fight for this afternoon, as you can see, he really, really, really means it. Nick Bradley down the back straight. Lester Goodwin in second place. Tony Cook in third. 21, Nick Bradley. Craig Matheson holding on to the lead. Lester and Anthony Goodwin in second place. Tony Cook in third. Paul Moorcock in fourth. Quality line up in this one. There goes the checkered flag for Nick Radley, followed by Lester Goodwin, Tony Cook, and Paul Moorcock. Clive Willis is holding on to a good line and a lot of speed, but here comes Sean Harvey, driving in behind him. 
Brown, they come then. Excuse me, Mrs. I'll do the commentary. Brown, they come then. Number three. Straight they go in, Lester and Anthony Goodwin are flying here this afternoon on their home camp soil. Look at that battle for second place, the checkered flags there, and here they come. Mr. Goodwin takes the Cooking Ford. These are the 500cc sidecars, and these will make the temperature soar. We look for Lester and Anthony Goodwin. So unfortunately had a no finish last time out, and they'll be desperate to any points to make it. Sean Harvey and Danny Hogg, they were third and first time out, and they're second line this afternoon, and they want points too. 21, Dick Bradley and Craig Matheson will easily be the spoilers in this one. So we'll have to jump through. I think some nails are quite big together, but you can see Five outfits away, and it is the six times British champion that leads. But he's opened up a big door for Nick Bradley. Well, they come then. Lester and Anthony Goodwin lead. Nick Bradley in second. Look at Sean Harvey coming through on the inside. Sean Harvey makes that ground up past Nick Bradley. He sets his sights on Lester Goodwin's back wheel. And round the turn they come, they wind up the throttle and Lester's taking a wide fast line. Sean Harvey's coming up on the inside. This is the number three. Lester Goodwin, 72, Sean Harvey, the current British champion in second place. And he chases hard up that straight, he's standing ground on Lester Goodwin. Here they come, Nick Bradley in the third place. Keith Richards in the fourth and Paul Walcock at the back. Lester Goodwin again taking that wide fast line and Sean Harvey's coming in there. One more lap to go. Lester and Anthony Goodwin in the lead. From Sean Harvey and Danny Hogg in second place. And they're trying everything they know to come on first. They do look faster up that straight as they come in the last turn. Lester Goodwin changes and takes a real tight line, but he's loosed it. He's lost the line, but here comes Sean Harvey. Not quite this time. Lester Goodwin Sean Harvey in the second. Then Nick Radley. Four more And he's the winner. Lester Goodwin. So do you feel that your bike has had to have a few changes from the time training and everything today? We uh, made a few little changes but um, we had a pretty good set up yesterday and uh, we just made a little few finer adjustments today and uh, it's going very good actually. Um, uh, we've got high hopes for today, everything's going good so if we can make some good starts then um, we should be up there with everybody else. Has the track changed a lot from yesterday's practice? No, actually the track is very good. We had a bit of rain last night but um, it done the track good so so the track's very good at the moment. Just hope the rain stays away and hopefully the track will stay good. Who do you think's your main threat of the the finalists this year? Nobody. They're all here to be beaten. So you don't look at it like that. If you think you're number one then you go out there thinking you're number one. So let's just keep it at that and there's everybody's here to be beaten, so there's no enemies. Okay and good luck for thank you very much. Cheers. <laughs> Es geht weiter mit Rennen Nummer 2, dem zweiten Lauf zur Europameisterschaft im roten Helm. Auf der Innenbahn die 4, Karl Keil und Berit Tralau für Deutschland. Im blauen Helm die Nummer 5, Sven Holstein und Desiree Daubert für die Niederlande. Im weißen Helm die 6, Nick Redley und Craig Matheson für England. Im gelb-schwarzen Helm die 7, Stefan Brandhofer und Stefan Peters für Deutschland. Im grünen Helm die Starten 8, Lester und Anthony Goodwin für England. Und im schwarz-weißen Helm auf der Außenbahn die Nummer 9, Markus Brandhofer und Helmut Meller für Deutschland. Jetzt kommt 
ein anderer Fahrer von außen, dann müsste sein Bruder Markus Brandhofer sein. Markus Brandhofer, Entführung vor Stefan Brandhofer, Ritter ist Lester Goodwin. Fahrer vorziehen zum Start. Die Fahrer vorziehen zum Start. Der Siegesbetrug 84,93 kmh für Tommy Kunet 84,93. Es geht weiter mit Rennen 13, den sechsten Punktlauf der Seitenwagen um die Europameisterschaft. Im roten Helm die 10, William und Nathalie Matthijs sind bisher 8 Punkte. Im blauen Helm die 12, Wayne Reed und Clive Preston aus England bisher 3 Punkte. Im weißen Helm die 8, Lester und Anthony Goodwin bisher 7 Punkte. Im gelben Helm die 2, Marc Detz und Gerhard Elsing bisher 3 Punkte. Im grünen Helm die 6, 
Nick Redley und Craig Madison aus England bisher drei Punkte. Und auf der Außenbahn in Schwarz-Weiß nennen sie vier. Karl Keil und Berry Kradau bisher fünf Punkte. Startaufstellung. Im roten Helm die 6, Nick Redley und Craig Matheson aus England. Bisher haben sie vier Punkte und die drei Minuten laufen für alle Gespanne. All Riders are on three minutes. Im blauen Helm die Nummer 12, Wayne Reed und Clive Preston aus England. Bisher sechs Punkte. Im weißen Helm die 8, Lester Goodwin und Anthony Goodwin England. Bisher elf Punkte. Im gelben Helm die zwei, Mark Netz und Gerhard Helsing aus den Niederlanden, bisher fünf Punkte. Im grünen Helm die Startnummer sechs, im grünen Helm, Entschuldigung, die Startnummer 13, Marco Hunsrucker und Florian Niedermeyer, bisher sieben Punkte. Und im schwarz-weißen Helm die acht, Lester und Anthony Goodwin, Stefan Brandhofer im Blauen Helm, die Stadt mit sieben Stefan, Franzhofer und Stefan Peters im blauen Helm, die haben neun Punkte. Und im weißen Helm ist dabei, also ich bin in der Reihe verstaut, im weißen Helm die vier Karl-Teil von Berlin Kranau bisher mit fünf Punkten. Start die 4, Karl Keil. Karl Keil vor der 60 Karl, zweite Position, jetzt die 8, 
Lester Goodwin, Carl Kyle for Lester Goodwin on Nick Bradley. Stefan Brandhofer und Stefan Peters für Deutschland. Im weißen Helm auf Startplatz 3 die 8, Lester und Anthony Goodwin für Großbritannien. Im gelben Helm auf Startplatz 4 die 10, William und Nathalie Matthijsen aus den Niederlanden. Im grünen Helm auf Startplatz 5 die 11, Thomas Kuhnert und Bernd Kreuzer für Deutschland. Und auf der Außenbahn im schwarz-weißen Helm die 9, Markus Brandhofer und Helmut Beller für Deutschland. Finale um die Europameisterschaft.
Sergeant. Nick Bradley has made a good start on the outside. Will he be able to close the door and everybody else to get into that first turn? They sort themselves out on that first turn. Simon Baird that's going in this one. It is actually Raz Palmer out once again. He is riding a 71 and at the moment he sits in third place. Lester Goodwin trying to get past the early reader, leader Nick Bradley. Those two battling it out as they go into that bottom turn. But that is Raz Palmer. Remember on Sean Harvey's equipment, so he knows he's got good equipment. Indeed he closes right up on the inside going to that top turn. So keep your eyes on that third place. And he's up into second. Danny Hogg looks over his shoulder. Oh, Lester Goodwin it is that's got the battle on because he's now in third place. But a good ride this from Nick Bradley and Craig Matheson as they go up that back straight. It's Raz Palmer that's now closing down on them. Well, he's ended with a definite one-off beating for him. It's great to see him back out there again. And as he comes off that top turn, he's certainly closing on the early leader, Nick Bradley. Oh, Lester Goodwin still pushing him along. And Tony Stark, the rider, in fourth place at the moment. And he's not lost contention with them at all, but... Oh, I've got to say, looking at that back straight now, Nick Bradley does look comfortable as he goes into that top turn. Will be checkered flag this time, and the first checkered flag for the 500 sidecars goes to the outfit of Nick Bradley and Craig Matheson. Great ride from Raz Palmer in second place, Lester Goodwin in third, and Tony Stark in fourth. 